Final Fantasy XVI takes place in Valencia, a world divided into six nations. These six nations wield power of resulting of their access to magical crystals and dominance. The latter are individuals who serve as hosts for the acons of each nation. Tensions between the nations rise as the disease known as the Blight spreads across the lands. Clive Rosfield, the protector of his younger brother Joshua, uh, watches the destruction of his kingdom and embarks on a vengeance journey to find the terrible icon Siegfried. The Final Fantasy XVI demo lets you try it out a little bit of everything. The game's setting and the story are introduced to you. Now, furthermore, whether Clive is fighting adversaries or you are in the icon battle, gamers will get the, to experience a variety of combat scenarios. Not only does the Chocobo get blasted into the face after a great save, but there may even be some betrayal that will leave you speechless. The demo does an excellent job of introducing the tale and preparing players to what they will encounter in the full game. I can say from playing the Final Fantasy XVI demo, this is and looks like it's going to be an incredible and absolute next generation game. The graphics in the demo were indeed flawless, the attention to detail were exceptional. When you first start walking in the mountains, you can tell the details that put into the rocks and rubble. Looking off into the horizon at the other regions reveals the effort what went into, into making these sort of things appealing and so wonderful. You observe a battle between the icons be to begin with and everything about it just seems so awesome. All the cutscenes and voice acting keeps you invested in the tale and wanting to know what happens next. Even while in conflict, the fighting and visual effects stand out and contribute to the overall experience. All the characters' models are immaculate, right down to the smallest details. If you know me, you know how important the game design is to me. And Square Enix did an excellent job with Final Fantasy XVI. Now, the Final Fantasy XVI demo gives a brief glimpse of the game's ability and gear. With Clive, it appears that you will be able to equip a weapon, belt, bracers, and three accessories. One interesting aspect of the equipment is that some of it can greatly assist new players. Certain items will, will allow you to automatically avoid an attacks that can be avoided. Like certain goods slow down time, giving you an extra time to execute a perfect dodge. There's also an item that will also use to healing item, like for example automatically when you're on lower on, on health. Finally, there's also an item that allows you to literally just attack over and over again and it will chain the attacks for you. You're not needed to utilize these, but they were available in demo. The ability system in Final Fantasy XVI is also quite straightforward. As you level up, you gain skill points, which you can use to improve your skills or learn new ones. There was even an auto-distribute option, which distributed available skill points automatically. The battles seem to be fluid and not cumbersome at all. I was able to defeat one opponent with chain attacks to another while dodging oncoming assaults. This was genuinely an actual very fluid and smooth combat animations. The Final Fantasy XVI demo provides an outstanding preview of what to expect from the full game. It demonstrates why demonstration may be incredible, beneficial and vital to the games at all time. One of the nice things about the demo is that once you finish it, you unlock the opportunity to try out uh, these icons challenges which I won't ruin for you. Final Fantasy XVI demo allows you to import your save game into the full game, which I genuinely appreciate. I never really played a perfect game, and I don't think I even have really scored a perfect game. Well, to an extent, of course. But if you ask me to rate this demo, I'll be insane not to give it like maybe even a 10 out of 10. It was almost too perfect. Now, make sure to give it a try you know when it comes out on playstation 5 as well and june june of 22nd 2023 it's just a few short days it's awesome and i cannot wait to get you know re-experience this awesomeness and to continue this adventure like and subscribe see you guys all later have a wonderful day